In the last video, we showed how to uh, add a spinner uh, with a defined range and with a default value and to make it editable. But the next thing we need to do is we need to learn how to get the information out of the spinner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little button here and a label so that when I click the button it'll read whatever numbers in our spinner and put it in our label. So to do that, let's go over to our view and we'll grab a button. Get grid. And we'll put a label in here. Actually. horizontal box and we'll put the button inside the box and then we'll put a label inside of that just configure our, our horizontal box a little bit so uh, alignment will make everything sort of centered and under layout we'll put some spacing uh, between the units there we go that looks better and maybe we'll increase the font size here a little bit Oh, the CSS is handling it. Never mind. Okay. So basically what we want to do now is we want to set up so when we push the button, we're going to update the label. Let's save. So we're going to need to um, define the button and the label as objects in our controller. Scroll up to the top here. Whenever you uh, get a button, make sure you're using the scene button, not the AWT button. Okay, so now we have our button and we have our label. Initially, we'll set the label to be blank. So down here. to start and then what we'll do is we'll create a method that when you push the button it's going to read from the spinner and update this label so let's go up here Hit save. So I'm just going to go back into Scene Builder because it's always easy to forget. But I'm going to click on Get Grade here, this button, and go down to Code. I'm going to get the ID, and then for the on action. So what what I want to do is get grades button pushed. So when someone pushes, when we have some kind of action on this button, it's going to call this method, and then we're going to update the label the grades label. Hit save. Okay. 
So now, <clears throat> the key of getting the uh, information out of a spinner is to recognize that the spinner, um, it can hold any type of object. So when we're pulling information out of it, we're actually getting an object. So we have to convert that. Um, in this case, we want to convert it at least into a string. Um, we may, you know, since it's numeric, we may want to even convert it further to a number. Um, but let's, uh, let's take a look at this. So I've got my uh, grade label and I'll set the text. And it's gotta be whatever the value of our, um, our spinner is. So we called it the grade spinner. And you can see there's a lot of uh, uh, items here. This one here returns a string. It's sort of like uh, get the value. So let's try that one. Oh, we also need to make our label editable, so or visible. Okay. So it says grade is 75, I say get grade. And what I get here is it doesn't give me exactly what I want. What it gives me is the two string of a spinner. So I'm getting uh, kind of a convoluted uh, result. So <clears throat> what I want is actually the value inside of here. So I'm gonna say to the spinner, get the value. And then that I can convert it to a string. So let's try that now. So now it pulls the 75 and puts it here. If I change the value of this to say get grade, it's going to update. If I write in something like minus four, see how when I push get grade, it won't actually allow that to happen because it's not a valid range inside of uh, the va um, <clears throat> the spinner value factory that we set. So the nearest the nearest we could get to is a zero, right? So maybe if I try to go to 101, it won't let me access that. But if I bring it down to an acceptable number, it will. So there you have it. That's uh, how to extract information out of your spinner.